So today, actually for a week, I'm going to do five different recipes. We're going to do it out of Chrissy Teigen's Cravings book. Um, so the first one we're going to do today is the buttermilk biscuits with sausage gravy, which I'm really excited for. Um, so I'm going to get everything over here measured out. Um, so what we're going to need is we need the pork, we need some butter, black pepper, heavy whipping cream, whole milk, crushed red peppers, and some flour. So I'm going to get all that measured out real quick. We're going to add the butter now and we're going to let it melt. So now that it's all melted, you're slowly going to put some flour in and then it, it's going to take about two minutes and you'll let it cook. Now it's going to cook for two minutes and then we're going to add in the milk and then Turn up the heat again, so we turned it down to put that in, and stir until it's thick. And my battery died, so I had to change out the batteries. And the one I just put in, it's almost dead too. So we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so it's still thickening up. Have a few more minutes for it to go. We're gonna add the red pepper flakes, the pepper and the salt. And then once this is mixed in, then basically it says just kind of push it to the side. You'll let it sit and then just reheat it when you need to um, once your biscuits and everything else are done. Okay, so now we're going to move on and I'm going to make the maple cream which is gonna cover the biscuits. So now the cream is made. I'm going to set this to the side and then we'll put this on the biscuits. Yum. So now I mix in the flour, the baking soda, baking powder, the sugar, and the salt. So that's all stirred in here. And now I have my little pieces of butter that I cut up, coated in flour, and then stuck in the sugar, stuck in the freezer for five minutes. And now I'm going to mix these in. So I will check back in with you guys once I get all this butter mixed in. It says to make it like a small, almost pea-sized um, shape. So I'll get this mixed in and then we will get ready to add in the buttermilk and get ready to bake some biscuits. It is all mixed in now and it says to add the buttermilk in um, slowly and mix until it is all moistened. Well, it just says till it's wet, so I didn't know. Do I put it all in then? I mean, I don't know. It just it doesn't say you have to do it slowly. It just says add it and stir until it's just moist. Transfer the dough to a floured surface like we did. Put flour in your hands. Knead the dough three to four times by folding the top half of the dough, pressing down into a pile with your palms, turning and rotating 90 degrees each time. Pat the dough into an eight inch square by eight inch, or eight inches by one inch high. And then you'll be able to cut it into nine pieces. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut these. And we did a rectangle instead of the square. I should have probably put flour on that, but that's okay. So this is what the baking sheet looks like. So we are going to brush it with the maple cream. I'm going to leave four of them with none just because my mom doesn't like maple. And you're not going to use all of this because you're actually going to use it again here in just a little bit. So you'll bake for 20 minutes 
at 425 after you're done baking them. A minute before you take them out completely, you'll actually brush them again with the maple. Alright, so that is the final product. We made fire green tomatoes to go with it. Now I'm going to give it a taste. It's delicious, has a little bit of heat to it, mixed with that sweet in the biscuit. So good. I definitely recommend trying it. Give it a thumbs up. All right, bye guys. See you tomorrow. Today's day number two and we are making mac and cheese. Yum. And to go with the mac and cheese, we are also making steak bites. Yum. So we're gonna get started with the mac and cheese. So we got all the cheese cut up, pasta's boiling, it says boil it one minute less than what you would typically, what it says to boil. And then I'm starting some butter, we're going to cook it down for it to melt and then we're going to add in some flour and then go for a minute. So now we're adding in the flour, Bloop. and it says to whisk it. adding the milk. All right, so we're adding slowly the milk. It says to continually whisk it as you're adding it. Holy Jesus, my hour. Gradually add milk while whisking and then increase the heat once, it, once you stir that so it's still smooth. Turn, turn the heat up to increase it to a boil. Oh, the heat was never turned down. That's okay. Once it reaches a boil, you're going to turn it down and then keep whisking for four or five minutes. Okay, so I turned down the heat because it was boiling and... And it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to start slowly adding the cheese until it gets creamy and then just add it as it mixes it in. Alright, so this is getting nice and smooth. After it's nice and smooth, we have some salt, some pepper, and some cayenne that we're going to mix into the cheese as well. Alright, so now that all the seasonings are mixed in, we're going to start adding in the pasta and whisking it together. And then it just says to add more salt and pepper to taste as need be. Can you taste it first? Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. Mm, I wouldn't add any more. I think it tastes amazing. We're not going to add anything else. So now I have a 9 by 13 pan that we already buttered. And then this will get transferred to that. And then we will finish baking. Just put the butter in, melt it down. And then we'll add in the breadcrumbs and the garlic. Butter is melted. And it says to wait till it starts to foam a little bit, which is starting to foam. And then we're going to add in garlic. Now we're going to add in the breadcrumbs. So we put everything in the uh, bowl, all the seasonings. We're going to mix it up together. And then once it cools, after a few minutes, we're going to add in some Parmesan cheese. Here's the steak. So basically all it said to do was to chop it up into fine uh, into like one inch pieces, put salt and pepper on it, and then cook it in some oil. So that's what we're doing now with that. This will be what goes on top of it. This is just um, butter and blue cheese. It says to uh, like smash together. 
and then that will go over the steak. Five tablespoons of Romano cheese with the breadcrumbs. We're gonna mix it up and top it. At 425, you'll bake it for eight minutes. So this is the mac and cheese finished. Technically, the cheese was supposed to go under the breadcrumbs, but we don't really care because it looks absolutely delicious either way. The steak is done. The cheese is done. Here is the finished product. We have the steak, we have the blue cheese under here mixture, and the they called for potato sticks, but I couldn't find any, so we just crushed up, crushed up plain potato chips for it. And then here is the mac and cheese. Wow, that is amazing. I love it. Let's try the steak. Mm. Tastes absolutely delicious. I would recommend both of these meals. They're fantastic. Today's day number three. And we are going to make the King's Hawaiian BLPTS. Is what they look like. They look delicious. So to add on with the sandwiches, we are going to make a homemade coleslaw that we have just from our recipe. And so we're gonna start. So for the homemade coleslaw mix that we have, I'll just post the ingredients um, as we're mixing it. So I'm going to take all of the dry stuff, mix it together into the little bowl, and then we'll mix it all together with the mayonnaise and stuff in a larger bowl um, and add in the cabbage. So we measured everything out. I got the mayonnaise. I have all the dry stuff. I think I just don't measure out is the apple cider vinegar. So I mixed all the ingredients together for the coleslaw and now I'm just going to add it to the cabbage that's prepared. So that is the coleslaw. We'll set it aside, um, chill it. Here's the finished product. Here's the coleslaw mixed together. We have some of the grilled pineapple just on the side and then in the sandwich, the tomato onion bacon lettuce and pineapple i am so excited to try this it looks fantastic that is a fantastic combination i love it okay so we'll see you guys tomorrow we are here for day four and we're making the chicken lettuce wraps. So we added some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. We're gonna get this heated up, and then we're gonna add in the chicken. So this is what the sauce looks like so far. We had already mixed it up. It just has garlic, um, ginger, poison sauce, soy sauce. Okay, so now you can see it all looks nice and brown. We are going to set this aside and then we'll cook in the same pan and start mixing some of the sauce with some of the like scallions and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna add the scallions and mushrooms. And then we're going to put in ginger and we're going to add in garlic. Okay. Um, all right, so some of the liquid is still in here. We're gonna let it cook for about another minute and then we're going to add in the chicken and then we're gonna add in the rest of the sauce, let it cook down. We did chicken lettuce wraps and on the side we just made some cauliflower rice with a little bit of um, teriyaki sauce. How much stuff do you put in 
I'm gonna taste just this by itself first. I'm curious. Mmm. That tastes amazing. So now to wrap it up. That tastes amazing. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for day five. Today's day five. We did the Frito pie bar. So we kind of already got it going. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. Um, so you just take the meat with onions and a lot of the seasonings and you saute it up. Um, and then you'll add in the water with the beans, with kidney beans and brown sugar. Um, the only thing we didn't do was we had a little bit less cayenne than what it called for. So once it boils, we're going to move it to the crock pot. Um, because we're going to be leaving for a little while. And then we'll come back and finish cutting everything else up. Get the guacamole and everything ready and then get to eat it. Alright, so I have the guacamole. I put the cheese in. We're going to mix it all up for cheesy guacamole. All right, so now we're gonna give it a taste. Mm, that is amazing, and I love it. Um, this might be my favorite recipe, actually, that we did. I really liked the mac and cheese as well. Actually, I've liked all of them. I haven't not liked any of them, but. They're wonderful. Love it. Definitely recommend this. It tastes fabulous. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else you guys might want to see, um, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, um, and let me know. Subscribe, and we'll see what we can do next.